Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Sunday, which means it is time for another episode of Nas Watches Meguka Maguka. Meduka Maguka. Major record, which means that I think this is the end. So either they are going to do a second season of this and do the rest of the story, or they're going to rush the fuck through it. Or give an alternate ending. I don't know. We'll have to see, won't we? But in our last episode, I Iroha went to the... <laughs> went to the former headquarters of the Italian Fascist Party, and, uh attended the TED Talk of a Maguka that has discovered perpetual motion. And then, you know, they saw some memories about all of Yachio's friends fucking dying. Which is always great. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really think we can really boil that down any further than that, but holy shit, I, I, I honestly, I'm actually very excited to see what happens, because the Magia are right, and if, uh, I've already forgotten her name. If perpetual, if perpetual motion Maguka has actually figured out a way to undo entropy, like the same way, like basically found a better way than the incubators did without sacrificing human lives, then technically, yeah, she's the hero of this. She is the correct side to be on. But our protect, as is tradition, our protagonists are fucking idiot kids. So, I can't wait to see what happens, whether it's going to make a new timeline where, oh yeah, no, there is still Magookas and there is still witches, but there's no need for... Oh, shit. Uh, there's no need to create more witches. But we'll have to see, won't we? Let's see in three, two, one, and go. Aniplex. Oh boy, like, man. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of hyped. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm trying to have like a new set of headphones. I'm hoping they don't suck ass. Oh no, she's very sleepy. Tiny Kubi, make sure she have good, the good sleeps. Uh. You see, if you make this sound less like a cult, more people would probably join. Like, if you led with half of this shit, like, they probably wouldn't have been fighting you, honestly. Like, she probably wouldn't have Yachio being upset at her if she fucking led with half of this shit as well. Because Yachio is not an emotional dumbass idiot. Oof. I mean, so Yachio knows about the witch thing, like, of course. So... Like... Why is she against the Magius? Like, I'm actually kind of curious. Like, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very curious as to... As, as to why like, she didn't sign up. Because if there is a way to prevent witchitude, like... Does it require sacrificing kittens or something? Like... It doesn't seem like the Uwasa go out of their way to hurt people, either. It's only people that follow their rumors like idiots, and that's... That's not even the Magus' fault. That's... That's personal accountability right there. Holy shit. Yeah, like the... Lucky Owl Water, it does encourage people to drink the water, but only if you find them. Oh no, the team's being disbanded! Yeah. The Lucky Owl Water required that people... Required that people, like, actually seek it out and drink it willingly. They're not being told to. And they, they, the Iwasa even does warn you, like, hey, if you hit, if you, like, run out of luck, you might want to come back and get some more before, you know, you gotta top that shit up. Like, whether you, the fact that you got yourself stuck on that loop is your fault. You, it's up to you now to fucking get the shit back. That's personal accountability there. 
fucking um the AI Uwasa. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, someone takes a header off a fucking building. All right, well now you're in this AI world instead of being dead. So fucking please cease, stop. The French, the anti-friendship Uwasa. I mean, that's only the most malicious one, but it's like, my dude, stop. Like you had to, you had to learn that rumor, have a friend that you fucking hated, and then write their name on that stair. Like, if you're go, if you're willing to go all all the way out to go like, nah, fuck this person, fuck you, fuck our friendship, fuck everything we ever did. Like, maybe maybe you probably shouldn't be making contact with them. If you know what I'm saying. Even the Shrine one, Shrine one's probably the most fucked up, but once again, it's another thing of like, no, you dumbass, take personal responsibility. The is like, like a fucking dog. A dog eating a squirrel. CG bookcases, re. She owns the house you live out of. She can just change the locks. Fucking Yashio just whirls around and just... <laughs> okay. So basically, mommy's wish then. So what what is, what is your power? Oh. Oh, that's her power. People fucking die. Oh, that's a fucking that's a fucking like word for an epitaph, huh? I don't want anyone else to die. Yachio, 5 seconds before fucking dying. Uh, but she might be alive in there. Possibly. The fuck? What? I'm sorry, what? Okay, why is there just, like, this building with a modeling room in the middle of a fucking train tracks? What? Oh, shit. What the, what the fuck's the point of this? And all the models are two-faced bitches. Awesome. Thank you for attending my TED Talk, Survivor's Guilt, A Personal Story. Wow, even all her model friends fucking died, holy shit. Most of them died from, from cocaine and heroin, so, but you know what, like, I don't even know if you can take care, if I could take responsibility for those ones. Man, that witch's power is real fucking esoteric. You get trapped inside and forced to attend a TED talk by your by your worst self. I'm gonna need you to evacuate the convention center. The TED Talk has been postponed due to COVID-19.
Have you though? Have you though? I'm waiting for Roha to fucking die at the end. It's not gonna happen. I'm, like, it's not gonna happen because protagonist. She's not gonna die. She's gonna go and become god or something. But fucking, it'd be fucking funny if she did, though. I'm not gonna die this, that easily. Fucking sniper dot appears on her forehead. I've been real bad at predicting shit in this series. That's unfortunate. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's because like my brain is trying to go like, oh, Madoka is is Madoka is the same story. You can't exactly blame me for that though, because fuck, it, it is like fucking all the character designs are very Madoka. Like, Iroha is just Madoka light. Yachio is just a Kami with fucking Sayaka's hair color. Tweak your grief seed. Alright, so you can do grief seeds too. Neat. Like, they turn off that perpetual motion thing. These guys are fucking dead. Like, they're gonna immediately fucking turn into. into witches. Hey, mommy. Now, mommy's like, now, nah, but now I can save Say I Say I Koo. Mommy, it's a gun. It's a gun, Mommy. Why would you even get into melee range? Oh, damn, it really do be like that, huh? I feel like Mommy's having a bad day. Seems like she's, you know, having a little bit of a rough time. What the fuck? Sayaka! Mommy, it seems as if you've lost it. Maguka turned a crazy bitch! Must be way back! <laughs> oh my god, the fucking timelines are merging. The timelines are merging! She remembers Sayaku losing it. Now she needs to prevent the losing. Fucking Yashio's like, I'm out of here, this bitch is crazy. Are we gonna get to see mommy's witch? Yeah! The mind break tag is now in effect. Assuming it wasn't before. Fucking Sayaka's over here like, No, you can't just force everyone to be saved by Maguka. Mommy's over here like, 
Haha, <laughs> flintlock rifles go, go blah 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 blah. You know what, yeah. Like, Yachio and, oh fuck, she just got Tiro Finale, bitch. Fucking, Sayaka and Yachio have a very similar power set. They both just summon weapons that they can throw. I see she's still doing the thing where she refuses to feel pain. And see... I mean, I mean, I guess that's useful for here, so long as she's not using it to fucking turn into a witch, huh? Oh boy, it's 4am, it's time for the dick flattening. Hey, team up attack! Yeah, so mommy seems to remember Sayaka losing it, and yet here she is, with the th with it tr like firmly in hand. So what the fuck happened? Like, is there some timeline fuckery going on? Like, are is are the timelines merging? Is this mommy from? Uh, the timeline where Sayaka lost it and then she fucking shot everyone to death? And our Sayaka is from a timeline where they didn't lose it? It's okay, I'm not losing it. I'm handing it to you for a minute. Hold on to it, don't tell me where it is. Good, like, I keep forgetting that Mommy's power isn't guns, it's ribbons. And the guns are just an ancillary power. Like... I want to see what Mommy's full witch looks like, because that looks... Cause that already looks pretty fucking hype. I just want to see what the whole thing. Oh damn! Meanwhile, Psyche is out here like, "What the fuck are you guys doing? You guys mean to tell me that there, there, there was way back?" Oh my gosh, she has a fucking Uwasa as a chauffeur. She has an Uwasa that's a chauffeur. Oh my fucking god. Were they actually gonna kill mommy? Holy shit. I mean, I'd rather not see her die again. I'd like to see her live for, like, at least one thing, you know? At least one series. Actually, no, Rebellion doesn't count. That was a hallucination. That doesn't count. Yeah, I would like to see Mommy, like, actually be alive for one fucking piece of media. Oh, no, she's losing it! Just slap her shit. Just slap her shit. Just pew pew. Just fuck one of mommy's bullets just goes clear through her fucking soul gem. Oh. You, you guys, you, you didn't solve the problem, you just threw her. Guys, you didn't solve the problem. You explicitly didn't solve the problem. 
Oh my god. Oh neat, they came to the TED Talk. Combo attack. Activate. God, she just she just made fucking mini guns out of her flintlocks. We've also done a lot of crimes. We've done a lot of crimes, Perpetual Motion Girl. Oh my god. And that is why we must escort the humans into the camps? And? We shall rule over them with an iron fist. The humans will thank us for this. As they cannot be trusted. Oh, god damn it, Chinese girl. God fucking damn it, she was a sleeper agent the whole time. Is there anyone who was not a fucking Magius? You know what? All the, fa all the, like, Italian fascist imagery makes sense now with this speech. Makes sense. All she has to do now is advocate for violence, and she's ticked off every fucking box of fascism. And I'm talking traditional fascism, not fucking modern fascism, where it's fucking, who fucking knows what the definition is. Fucking slap ran as shit. Cades. Cades the dom now, bitch. Now put on the sex robe. But yeah. Appeal to their race, or in this case, magical girls. Put them above other- put them above other groups of people. Promise them salvation from a perceived or real issue- real ISIS- yeah, issue or crisis. I almost said ISIS when I was gonna say issue and crisis at the same time. Fucking... Cubay's just like, fuck you! Like, that, that just said that that's going down the list of how to write a speech that kicks off a fascist movement. If you listen to any of Mussolini's speeches or any of Hitler's speeches, they do the exact same thing. Fucking Felicia's there too, goddamn. Benito's up here like, ah, this is, this is, well, I was doing a German accent. This is a just alike back in the 1930s. It's a good thing I managed to get this going again. It's -a me, Benito Mussolini. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That's how you know you've got a good villain. Brazilian mind. <laughs> That's how you know you've got a good villain, by the way. Like, the strongest villain is a villain that can, that can basically convince people that they're the good guy. And the best part is, in some cases, they could actually be the good guy, but their methodology for doing it is just so goddamn evil that it's not worth it. And I feel like that's what's going on here. Like, they're using the Uwasa to harvest emotional energy, right? And 
and I, I, I was kind of setting this up before. So, every single one of the Uwases you can justify, and the average person would justify as being uh, a issue of per- Ooh. Oh, hi, it's Kubi. Okay, there's a lot of shit being said at once, and I'm having a really big trouble following along it. Did she- Wait, so did she kill her sister? Like, I'm trying to follow the subtitles, I'm having troubles. Okay, but yeah, so like I said before, so you can justify the, 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 the Uwases as being personal choice, and it, to an extent, it is personal choice. The humans- the humans need to find the rumors, they need to follow the rumors, and then they have to just jump into them without fucking thinking. Issue is, it's probably incredibly likely that the Magius are spreading the rumors themselves, and they're ensuring that the rumors permeate every fucking level of society, so that there will always be a fucking influx of people that find these rumors and do them. Either it's going to be a rumor that is essentially harmless until you fuck it up, like the like the owl water, or it's something that's actively malevolent, like the shrine or the um, or the anti friendship step, like the 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 water. So long as you go back once a day and get a top up on your luck, all right, that's fine. But all it takes is one fuck up, and that person dead or at least gravely wounded, and that's the harvest. Assuming the harvest isn't them coming back, drinking the water, and expressing relief that they are now lucky again, and the Uwasa harvest that. I don't exactly know how that works, it hasn't been explained. Um, and then of course you have the friendship step, where people break up friendships, they hate each other, and out of anger they write the name on the step, and then later when, of course, because human beings are social creatures, they're going to have that desire to rebuild that friendship. So the friendship gets starts getting rebuilt, and then the Uwasa comes out and just fucking kidnaps the friend, feeding on their emotional energy, and then as the person uh, tries to seek their friend and is like, No, where'd you go? You just vanished! Oh my god! And they realize, oh fuck, I killed them. Double dipping on that, you get two for the price of one. And then of course the shrine is a non-stop battery because you show- you trap people in a shrine and show them basically images and memories of the people that they are- that they lost. Like, like, yes, in- in- in a vacuum, th that is entirely personal responsibility and the Uwasas are not evil, it's like a dog chasing a squirrel. But then you have the Magius herding the squirrels towards the dog in a hallway where the squirrel can't go anywhere. You know, like, it, that's- That's- that's fucking great. That's fucking great, because, like, like I said before, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to do a villain. The villain's not wrong. They're actually correct, and the future they want is desirable. It's the way they're doing it that is a fucking nightmare scenario. <laughs> like, and the fact that they are using uh, fascist iconography and, and basically, like, all but one checkbox to, to achieve it, like, that also kind of sells it as well, you know? It's, it's actually pretty nice. And they're doing Italian fascism instead of, you know, the big bad N-word fascism. Which, I mean, that's, that's iconography that most people are not going to pick up on. Because who the fuck thinks of Italy when they're thinking of World War II? No one. Because they're incompetent. And goofy as shit. Yeah, you've got fucking, you've got the, their fucking boss looks like Benito Mussolini as a lolly. The fucking headquarters has the goddamn big dumb face on it. Like, the speech sounds like a Mussolini speech. Like, they're doing it, they're doing it. There's, there's some, there's, that's some, there's some fucking really good fucking pulls there. And I am, all right. All righty then. Oakley fucking dokily then. Oh boy, so... Yeah, that's good. That is a that is a good fucking episode. That is a spicy meatball.
and the, just like the 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 fucking visuals are, are great, just like the the iconography as well as the actual visual visuals. Um, let's see. So Yashio showing up to save everyone and having her big thing of just like, oh, I'm gonna kill everybody. Like I I I, I kind of like that the fact that we have someone who is way more powerful than everyone else because she'd be doing this for way longer. But like she's got like weighted she's got weighted training PTSD. <laughs> Lowers her power level till she takes it off, and then she's got her doppel and all that. That's pretty neat. And seeing Yachio's like backstory and, and why she is the way she is, I kind of like that. I kind it's kind of I'm kind of gonna get like a full breadth of why she is the way she is. Um, I, it's pretty neat. I mean, just like the fact that it is a little ham-fisted that she gets swallowed by a witch whose entire power is showing you a TED talk of why you suck, like. That's a little bit convenient, but all right then, okie dokily then. Um, and but like fucking having Sayaka show up, like I we knew Mommy was part of it, but we didn't know how deep it was. But having Sayaka show up, and then Mommy be like, okay, yo, why the fuck? I, I thought there was no way back. Like, like oh god, that's, that's getting my brain going. That's getting my brain going big. Like that means that either, so like, is this a is this a Sayaka? from a timeline where she didn't turn witch or is this the Sayaka angel basically the Sayaka that is basically like uh, Madoka's l l angel that goes down and fucking protects Magukas like when when the law of cycles needs to be edged along a little bit like which one is this seeing as she's not seeing as she doesn't seem to be omnipotent like she, like the angel one is. I'm gonna say that she's probably. This is probably a, a, a timeline where she uh, survived, uh, or at least she's been pulled from a section of the timeline where she was alive. Um, but that must mean that Kami, that Kamihama, it uh, exists outside of time a little bit. Then, right? Right? I don't know. Like, I, I really want to know how that's going. Like, fucking, God, the fact that that's what. Shoot, that that's what sends fucking mommy like fucking bananas like that's actually pretty neat That's pretty neat because it was Sayaka's death that caused her to shoot and kill Kyoko in one of those timelines so That's that's a pretty neat thing pairing them up Oh boy, like I, I do hope that, that at some point the rest of the Madoka squad show up like I, I want to see like fucking Madoka Madoka Akemi and all them just turn up and be like hey Bitch, fucking stop, you're coming home, dumbass. But I also want to know just what timeline they're from. Like, what if it gets the entire uh, Maduka squad together, but they're all from different timelines? That'd be pretty neat, because then you get fucking Akemi in there, like Akemi, like, on her first fucking reset after Madoka died, she sees Madoka there, and Madoka's like, Hey, Homura-chan, what's up with your hair? And meanwhile, fucking Akemi's just fucking bawling her goddamn eyes out. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty neat. Oh, jeez. Like, but... So is there gonna be a season two here? Is there, is there gonna be a season two? Or, like, as, as episode 14? Because I was told, like, this is only gonna be 13 episodes. Um... Hmm... Let's see if I can find some... Okay, so listing says that this is complete. But... Um, how many episodes is Magia Record? 13, okay. Um, will... So, okay, so it's confirmed that's the end of a season. Will Magia Record have a second se season two? Yep, there is a second season. It is in, it is in production, but we don't have a release date yet. So I guess we're gonna have to fucking look forward to that then. Oh boy, oh man, I I can't wait. I can't wait. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome. Oh man. So I mean, I'm hoping it comes out like relatively soon this year, so I can just like, I can have some have some stuff, some stuff to watch, but. <sighs> I'm very excited, but yeah, so like, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so let me know what 
you thought of this down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something that I left out, because that's entirely possible. Oh, boy. And, but yeah, so um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below, and if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which gets, which is linked down there in the description, and on the end card, along with the list of all the people that do support me. Uh, if you, on, on Patreon, god, that sounded really dumb, I'm just, I'm tired, it's kind of late where I'm at right now, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so yeah, there's some, there's some perks for Patreon stuff, is this listed on the, on the thing, and, yeah, as always, I am Nozvix, and I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round of three.